All right, so the first slide that we're going to do today is looking at um, a variety of different back braces. And um, back, there's all different kinds, there's brands, there's sizes, um, but the, for the most part they have a couple of features that are the same. Uh, typically they're Velcro, um, that way it goes around and so you have uh, different sizes for different people. Uh, Velcro allows for um, some flexibility to, with that. Uh, a couple of uh, types that you'll see on the sheet is actually um, the lumbar brace, which looks like this. And there's something called the Sportall Shorts, which uh, this is a, an example of the Sportall Shorts. Um, really all it is is it's compression shorts with a lumbar brace attached and built into it. What this does is this just allows for a little bit more comfortable fit for the athlete because it's attached to the actual shorts, it stays a little bit, it doesn't slide up and down because um, positioning is really important when um, uh, in fit for it. So uh, once the shorts are on, the fitting of the brace is, very, is identical to what we're going to show here, so I'm not really going to have them put these on. So uh, the way that typically these braces work is, is think about a, like um, a belt, okay? So what you want to do is you want to Put the brace on and uh, attach it fairly comfortably with uh, the elastic wrap. Um, and then on either side here, typically you have um, some extra uh, side pieces that snug and make this a little bit more secure. So if I was going to really kind of tighten this on here, I'd pull these in. I'd pull these in right here. Okay. Now a couple of things to note with the brace is that once it's fitted, it's not rigid, so it's not going to really limit him a lot in extension because there's nothing here that's really, I mean, it will bend, but what it does is a couple of things. The first thing that it's gonna do is it's gonna help hold in and tighten in the abdominal muscles. Okay, if you think about, you know, if I hold my abdominal muscles in, the first thing that's gonna happen is my back's gonna come a little bit straighter, okay? So if you kind of you know, think about you know, sticking your gut out here, usually your back goes into a more lordotic curve, which is exactly what you don't want to do. As soon as you suck that in, keep the chest in, that flattens out a little bit, and that's going to help reduce a lot of the pain and uncomfortableness. Another thing that it does is the pressure back there, even though it's not limiting him, like he can force it back, but it's helping him remind that there's the brace there. Oh yeah, I shouldn't extend back. I shouldn't extend back because there is a little bit of resistance. And then the third and final thing is because it's neoprene, it will provide warmth. So that helps um, in decrease some of the low back pain. So even though it really doesn't restrict anything, if you've got an individual that's got low back pain, you throw them in this, instantly it actually feels better because it's just it's tightening everything up holding everything in a little bit, and they're actually going to be more functional because of the reduction in pain. Okay? Now, most people, what they're thinking they're going to want to do is thinking, oh, this is a back brace. I should get this up into where the back is. Um, but if you put, try this on yourself, you realize it feels kind of weird to actually have it this high. What you really want it to do is it's more of a waist belt. Okay? So it should go right around right along the hips um, and what that's going to do is that's going to really kind of go low over that sacrum low over the lumbar vertebrae and that's going to help out so just a little bit lower on the hips is going to make this a lot more functional a lot more comfortable so uh, again make sure you try it on yourself uh, just so you can actually see what um, it actually does feel like um, higher up feels a little awkward and 